The ARK Innovation ETF has been absolutely annihilated from its high set here in early 2021 all the way down to where it is sitting right now, down roughly 75% in this period of time. Absolutely nuts. However, we are going to be talking about 10 stocks, 10 stocks that Kathy Wood owns in her ETFs that have potential for massive rebounds into the next couple of years. This specific article we are referencing is out to 2023. We'll leave the article down below in the video description box, but let us dive right in and we're going to go stock by stock and we'll talk about the reasons why these stocks are potentially good upside picks. Number 10 is Teladoc, ticker symbol TDOC. There's currently 36 hedge fund holders of this company, and it's down over 60% year to date. That's not even counting where it was at its peak here, over $300 per share, $300 per share. This stock sits right now at roughly $33 per share. This is the largest telehealth provider in the US, and now that they're expanding internationally, this is a stock that, and this is a company that really is not going to be going anywhere anytime soon, as healthcare plans, systems all adapt and evolve to the current technology and the current landscape that we're seeing right now. So with that said, the stock's taken some big hits on recent earnings reports, but does that mean that, hey, a lot of the bad news is behind us and this could be setting up for a potential run? Well. Analyst ratings actually have this stock at a buy here with a one-year target of roughly $43.61. That would put you at roughly 31% upside again. And that totally smashes the 8 to 10% return you see on average in the stock market. Number nine is Block, ticker symbol SQ, formerly known as Square. This stock is down from the beginning of this year, over 60% as well. Take a look at this guy sitting here at 61.46. We film the video. This consolidated in you know, quite some time in this range from 200 bucks per share all the way up to the highs here that we saw up over $280 per share. A very nice consolidation for really a good couple of months. This consolidated for more than six months in this range. And then, of course, has given back a lot over the past couple of months. But it sits right now right in this range that we saw back in 2018, 2019, where it really consolidated and bounced around around the $60 area per share. Currently 84 hedge fund holders on block. And this is a company that may not realize actually owns Cash App. Now, if we scroll down here, we are looking at the technicals. They indicate a strong sell. Now, that's because we've obviously seen some nasty downside momentum for sure. It makes sense. But the current analyst ratings here have this at a buy. And the one-year price target, believe it or not, everyone, is at 139 That's over 126% upside from the current levels right here on block. Next, number three is Zoom, ticker symbol ZM. Zoom sits here at roughly 107.97. This thing did get down to roughly 80 bucks per share just a few weeks back, but at its highs approached nearly $600 per share. This thing is down absolutely insane. Really, to start the year off, this stock is down well over 50%. And as we speak, Zoom has some price targets up around 125, which would indicate roughly 15% upside from the current levels. Zoom has essentially given back the entirety of its move from the pandemic bottom to the top, uh, where this thing was trading just a bit lower down towards 60 bucks per share back here at some points in 2019. Number four on the list here is ticker symbol B-I-L-L. -L. It's bill.com. This stock is down over 50% so far year to date. However, this stock currently sits here at 109.94 when we're filming the video, and they are a California-based company that offers cloud and AI software to simplify and automate financial operations for small to medium-sized businesses around the world. Kathy Wood currently holds here over 150,000 shares of Bill, over $36 million in bill. Now, this stock, as we speak right now, also has some strong buy ratings from analysts, indicated right now with an 81% upside target at roughly 199, almost 200 bucks per share. The stock's again sitting down here towards 110 as we speak right now. This stock went on quite the tear and has given back pretty much all the move we've seen from 2021. However, there is a little bit more to come back if it wants to get down to those pandemic lows, which were down here towards around $25 per share. 
Next on our list is ticker symbol SEC Limited. Look at this chart. This was the perfect example here of taking the stairs to the upside and the elevator to the downside. Jeez, man, this thing did give back all of those gains essentially from 2020, not all the way from the pandemic lows, which did have the stock down here on $35 per share, but it did hit lows this year of roughly $55 per share and currently sits at 66.86. Right now, analyst targets have this thing at a strong bot have it at a strong buy, over 100% upside, targeting 134.63. Now, what's crazy about some of these stocks, guys, again, if we look at that price point, right, 134.63, that puts you right here. So this stock makes a move up to here. Again, nowhere near this thing was trading just a couple of months back, but that's still 100% upside if it were to make that run. Absolutely insane, but it just shows you that if you're looking at some of these stocks with fresh eyes, there could be some good opportunities across the board. Next, believe it or not, is ticker symbol HOOD Robinhood. This is a very controversial stock as this guy went live uh, just honestly about a year back, less than a year back, back here in August of 20 or late July of 2021. The stock sits here under 10 bucks per share and has current analyst price targets on average roughly 50% higher, up to around 1231. However, it is a neutral overall when it comes to analysts. There's roughly 19 hedge funds that are holding this stock. Robinhood is a financial service provider that operates as a stock broker and now has ventured into the crypto space as well. Next on the list is ticker symbol MNDYMonday.com. It's an Israel-based company providing a cloud platform for work management in addition to many other management services. This thing is down over 60% again to begin the year, and the thing was trading up here over $400 per share not too long ago, and currently sits around $100 per share. The lows of the year down here towards around 87 bucks, which currently is acting as a double bottom support. And if this thing can hold these levels, analyst price targets have this guy as a strong buy with 80% upside targeting 186 for the one year target. Keeping it going rapid fire, next on our list is TWLO, Twilio. This stock, of course, same situation here, down massively to start the year. However, it's down over like 60% to begin the year, but from the highs, this thing hit up to over $4.50 a share. It currently trades for $83.81 as we speak right now. Pretty much uh, in line with a lot of the same stocks we were watching before. Had the pullbacks during the pandemic and then had the, ma the massive run. This thing is sitting down. Didn't go down to the pandemic lows, which were down here towards around 67, but pretty darn close at a low of $77 per share so far on the year. Around 75 hedge funds hold this bad boy. And current projections right now, strong buy, target up around 200 bucks per share. That's all the way up here which would be roughly 138% upside in just one year based on current analyst price projections. Next on our list is Spotify. Look at Spotify. This stock popped up to almost 400 bucks per share back in 2021 and is now sitting here at roughly $93, $94 per share. Roughly 49 hedge funds hold Spotify. And as we speak right now, it has roughly a 56% upside potential target with the analyst price target roughly at 147, which is actually right up in here, just above the volume point of control, the area we've seen the most volume traded, the price point we've seen the most volume traded in the lifespan or, or in the viewing window we're looking at right now on this chart. Last but not least, Shopify. Take a look at this decline. Absolutely incredible. Again, stair step up and the elevator to the downside. This thing has just absolutely been annihilated from hitting highs up here over 175. Now, of course, Shopify just had a stock split. So Shopify just had a stock split as of late, which was a 10 for one. So this stock is actually trading a lot higher, up around 300 bucks per share, which is now why it's trading around 30 bucks per share. But as we speak right now on Shopify, we have support right here around 30 bucks per share, actually many, many lows that are trying to hold up for now, which lines up very, very nicely because guess what? The pandemic lows were around the same exact spot, around 31 bucks per share. And then prior to that, 2019 lows were just a touch lower, around $28 per share, based on our current chart. A lot of volume support right at this level. So we'll see if Shopify wants to hold this area, but Shopify has roughly 72 hedge funds involved. Stocks down over 75% from the highs. And this stock currently has a strong buy rating, 62% upside targeting 50 bucks per share 
analysts right now. So there you guys have it. Those are 10 stocks with potential big time upside going into 2023 that Kathy Wood and ARK Invest currently hold. Now they've been beaten down. If we're looking at these with some fresh eyes, with let's say a new portfolio or with some free cash, these could be stocks that you might wanna look deeper into and could provide some awesome value going forward if they can rebound back from where they were. And then you guys understand, we talk about this too, these stocks don't have to go back up to their highs. Again, if you're in from an average up here, that's where it hurts. But if you were to buy these things and they were to make 5, 10, 15, 20, 30, 40, dare we say 50 plus percent moves, that's incredible as it is over the next couple of years, knowing that the average market return is in that 8 to 12% range anyway. So if you were to find some stocks that could provide that over the next couple of years, these could be some great opportunities. Let us know your favorites in the comment section down below. We'll leave links and resources down below like always. Make sure you're checking out that webinar in the pinned comment and the video description box that goes over three trading signals to add to your arsenal. Outside of that, make sure you subscribe, thumbs up button. Hope to see you in a future video. Peace.